Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me Fola. If it's your first time stopping by, you're welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for stopping by again. So this video is gonna be me setting my 2023 financial goals. I am super deeper excited for the 2023 year coming, especially because of a lot of things, a lot of possibilities that I can achieve, a lot of things that can happen in 2023. I choose to see the positive side. I know it's not always linear and it's not always good, but for now, I choose to see the positive sides. I've written some goals down that I want to achieve financially in 2023. Just like I said in my 2022 videos, these goals are not set in stone. I'm a pretty flexible person. I like to make my goals flexible. I would still like to achieve them, but I like to also make them flexible so that if I don't achieve them, I'm not too hard on myself because I know how it can be hard. If you don't if you put your mind to something and you don't achieve it you can really spiral and all of that and i hate to feel that kind of way so i'm gonna read out some of my 2022 goals i'm gonna talk about how i intend to achieve it and hopefully you guys enjoy this video let's get into it the first goal that i want to achieve in 2023 is to get a raise in my job i have a number in my head and i'm gonna try my best my absolute best to reach that number hopefully get a raise at work or figure out how to get there but that's one of my first goals i need to start making big money guys so i'm hoping to get a raise and to reach the goal that i have in my head career wise at my job my second goal for this year is to max out my tfsa contribution room for the year for 2023 the contribution room is six thousand five hundred dollars the goal is to max it out to contribute $6,500 to my TFSA or put the equivalent to the new account that is coming up now. It's called the First Home Savings Account. It's a tax-free First Home Savings Account. This is for um, people that would like to buy a house. I don't plan to buy a house right now, but sometime in my life, I would like to buy a house. So maybe once this account pops up, I can switch from my TFSA to contributing the equivalent of $6,500 into my first home savings account. Actually, for the first home savings account, from what I heard, it has a limit of $8,000. So it would really be nice to be able to contribute that $8,000 into that first home savings account. But if it's $6,500 that I can contribute to, I'll take it. I'm not too greedy. I like to keep things open. I love the $8,000, but also if it's the 6.5, I'll also take it. But you know what's going to be nice? If I can contribute the 6.5 and the $8,000 together, uh, I feel like that's too much. So I'm not going to put my mind to it, but I would really like to max out my TFSA for this year or contribute the equivalent to the first home savings account. My plan to do this is just to contribute monthly. Every month, I'll contribute a little bit to my TFSA, and hopefully by December of 2023, I would have $6,500 contributed. My third goal is to make at least $5,000 for my side hustle. In 2022, I started a new job, so I didn't really have time to work on my side hustle, but I still made about $3,750. Ideally, I would double it. You know what? I changed it. The goal in 2023, Three is to double what I make, what I made in my side hustle this year. So seven thousand five hundred dollars. Oh, that's a lot of money. I don't want to set myself up for disappointment. Anyway, anywhere between five thousand dollars and seven thousand five hundred dollars in my side hustle, I'd like to make it in two thousand and twenty-three. Fingers crossed that that happens. But I know once I put my mind to it and I work hard and I make videos for you guys and I also work hard, I'll be able to make that. Hopefully, inshallah, if nothing happens, no pressure. Uh, my, another goal that I have for 2023 is to go on at least one vacation. I can be hard on myself in spending money. I know, especially because if you are very into finance, you might find that you have that mindset that you just want to save everything, invest everything. But my kind of finance is to find a balance, live life, enjoy life, and still save. My goal is to try to go on at least one vacation this year. It doesn't have to be outside of Canada, in Canada, but one vacation this year. Hopefully it's going to be two, but at least one. I want to go on at least one vacation in 2023. Another goal that I have for 2023 is to join my jobs RRSP matching. So at my job, once you're one year in, you can 
joined the RRSP Marching Artist 3 percent which is pretty decent. With that, I am going to co be contributing a little part of my salary to my retirement and my employer would match it. So if I contribute $500, they will match the $500, which makes it $1,000. So that's the goal. I'm looking to join that because the money I don't see, I don't care about it. When I take it out of my salary before getting it, I wouldn't even know about it. So that's a goal that I have. Join my employer's RRSP matching. And also with joining my employer's RRSP matching, I would probably stop contributing to my own RRSP, personal RRSP, and channel that money to my TFSA or the first home savings account like that I talked about earlier. And the last goal that I have for 2023 Three is to pay at least two thousand dollars towards my car loan, an additional two thousand dollars towards my car loan. Knowing myself, I know I'm gonna pay way more than that into my car loan because oh, I don't know if it's the Nigerian in me, but debt makes me uncomfortable. I don't like to owe people anything. So I know that every little money that I have in 2023, it's going to go into that car loan, but I'm just going to leave it to, I'm just going to leave it at paying at least an additional $2,000, but because things are going to pop up, situations are going to come up. I don't want to put too much pressure on myself. The way I like to see my goal is that I achieved it or I overachieved it than to other achieve it. I don't know. I think it's a psychological thing. It's probably not the best because then I set little goals, but it works for me in a way that I just don't stop at that goal. I am able to go on and achieve more, which helps me. It helps me psychologically wise. I don't know. 90% of money is psychology. Forget about finance. 90% of money is psychology. It's the, there's a book called The Psychology of Money. Like a lot of the decisions we make towards money is very psychological and it's just best to just set, set a goal that would give you peace. It doesn't matter if everybody's setting that goal. Make sure you tailor it to yourself and ensure that it is giving you peace and your mental health is safe with the money. So that's just it. Basically, that's all of the goals that I have for 2023. They're not as much as the goal that I set for 2022. I've come to realize that the lesser goal that I set, the more I'm able to confront it and achieve it. I didn't really set any superficial goal for 2023. It's just major league goals that are going to advance my finances and advance my career and hopefully i'm able to achieve them tell me what's one major goal that you set for 2023 that you want to achieve tell me in the comment section and let's get talking ask me any questions if you have any questions and i'll be happy to answer them thank you so much for watching this video guys and don't forget to like subscribe and share with your friends and family see you in my next video bye